Hey everybody, this is Petey from the Spinner Rack, and we also have Calvin Ellis, ready to rock. Well, we have a trailer today of The Wolfman, another Wolfman. Any thoughts so far? Have you heard about this? No, I have not. And I'm a big werewolf fan, so let's see what they do with this. All right, ready, set. What's that thing, Blake? It sounded like an animal. I swear to God, it was standing on two feet. Daddy, are we gonna die? No, it's my job to protect you. What's wrong with Daddy? He got sick. What do you say? The dialogue that I'm seeing in the trailer is kind of like the famous last words. Daddy, am I going to die? No, it's my job to protect you. Against a werewolf? Come on, dude. <laughs> and then the other one. Daddy, is that you? No, it's not your daddy. <laughs> you know it's not your daddy. If you got to ask, Dad, is that you? You're in trouble. <laughs> But aside of that, I'm always down for a good. I'm always down for a werewolf movie. Period. Shark movies, vampires. Well, not so much vampires. Shark movies and werewolf movies. I'm always up to see one of them. It's interesting because I know who is it? It's a Jack. Is it a Jack Nicholson Wolfman? Did you check that one out? Oh yeah, Wolf. That was cool. Yeah, that was fun. Did you watch? My well, my father was one who watched Werewolf in London. Did you see that one? No, I never saw that. I just know the mu I just got the music. Okay. Werewolves of London. Ah, uh, woo! Yeah, but I never got the chance to see it. That was definitely um, updated. It was with John Landis, but he did, you know, obviously done comedies and also did the thriller. But that's that's how Michael Jackson got to the thriller. To do thriller, yeah, because after oh, from that. From Werewolves of London? Okay, now I have to actually, I'm okay, I'm going to have to see yeah. this over the, before the weekend is out. But now the thing is, obviously, this, you know, was it 80, so the, the effects were groundbreaking at the time. And of course, my father seeing it in the, in the 90s was like, oh, the effects. <laughs> but um, it definitely was groundbreaking for the time. And um, anyway, but yeah, it's definitely Wolf. I, I enjoy it. <laughs> well, what's up? I'm a now, I'm a lot more forgiving of special effects because I don't think a lot of people realize that when you're going like as far back as the Flash Gordon serials when they're in black and white, everything is real. Yeah. Everything's real. It's not a there's no, you know, it's not this green screen or like we have now a computer generated. The most you might have had was a backdrop and then everything had to be made. You, know, you had to actually make it from hand. And it was being, in certain cases, it was being suspended by a rope that had to be kept off camera, something, you know, or a wire. So anytime I look at those type of effects, I'm always very, very forgiving because they were working with tech, the technology they had at the time. And now we're working with technology to the point, it's not even, I mean, of course, it's a film, so none of it's real, but this isn't even like material, something you can actually touch. It's just computer generated, so you can make it look incredibly uh, incredibly appealing to the human eye, you know, thanks to the digital effects that we have. But that's not taking anything away from what they did. You can see that you can see the effects and the quality and the time that went into it, you know, based on the films. Because some films were, you, you can look at it now and you feel like, oh yeah, with the effects. But you still knew that at the time that was some really good stuff. As a, I mean, even if you were to look at a film like Jurassic Park, which still holds up by the way, but mm -hmm. when I saw Jurassic Park for the first time, those effects were cutting edge. Okay, those were cutting edge effects, and the improvements they they have made since Jurassic Park make Jurassic Park look Jurassic. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, no. So, but um, 
Yeah, you know, um, with that said, let's let's just hope it's not a a wolfman running behind the door for for like for sixty minutes and then attack at the end. Cause end play to the play to the um, the moonlight that sort of thing. So but did, you, did you did you see the other one? There was a, a up there was a, a update. Of the Wolfman movie, the one that Lon Chaney did, I forgot who was the Wolfman in the movie. It might have been Benicio del Toro. Oh, I didn't see that one. No, I didn't see that one. Yeah, that was cool. That, that was a was straight. It? That was cool, but that was a straight update of the original. So okay. you know, of course, you know, with you know, color, film, you know, soundtrack, but it's the same. It's the same story. If I remember, I think it was Benicio del Toro and Anthony Hopkins. Yeah, 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 yeah. That was it. Yeah. Yeah, that was cool too. That was, you know, that was cool. I think a lot of people. <laughs> it was great for me because I remember the original. It was so it was fun to see the update. I think other people were disappointed because they. I think they really expected to see like a modern werewolf and gonna ch- be on all fours and that. I was like, no, no, no. <laughs> They're, not doing that. They're not doing that with this one. No. Yeah. So um, right now we we're saying, hey, let's check it out and see what happens. Spin the rack. We're out. Out.